he has been labeled as a genius, a prophet, a visionary, and sometimes as an eccentric and dismissed as an utopian dreamer. But in the end, no matter what they say, he's Jack Fresco, the creator and the mind behind the Venus Project, a monumental work of several fields of knowledge that unify the concept of a new future for the human civilization. Fresco's entire life is perhaps the definition of a second chance, a new opportunity for social progress in harmony with our planet and technology. Mr. Fresco, thank you for being with us today. Thanks for the privilege. Can you give us a brief description of what is the Venus Project? The Venus Project is an attempt to bring world peace and all the nations together. If you don't want war, killing, most crimes, you have to redesign the way society works. You have to declare all the Earth's resources as the common heritage of all the world's people. Then we have to remove the money system, which is basically corrupt. After that, we have to gradually outgrow the need for all the artificial boundaries that separate people. So we have one world working cooperatively toward preserving the environment and all life as we know it. And what is the most single important aspect of this project? A resource-based economy to declare all the resources a common heritage of all the world's people. Can you explain the distinction between a money-based economy and a resource-based economy? Well, a money-based economy produces incentive, but it also produces incentive for corruption, payoffs, paying off senators, various corporations buying senators. It's never been a democracy. We've never had a democracy. No nation's ever had it. If you don't have equal purchasing power, you can't have a democracy. How does the Venus Project compare with communism? Communism uses money. It has social stratification. It has banks. It has armies and navies, prisons and police. We don't have any of those. Now let's talk about society. In many of your lectures, you imply that we are conditioned to think in a certain way. Is that correct? Well, if you were raised by the headhunters of the Amazon as a baby, if you never saw anything else, you'd be a headhunter. If you were raised in Nazi Germany, where well, all you see is Heil Hitler, Deutsch Runder over others, you'd be a German. So I think all people are perfectly well adjusted where they're coming from. There's no such thing of good or bad people. You're taught to hate certain people, but where they're coming from is normal. If you're brought up in the South, uneducated region, you might become a member of the Ku Klux Klan. You speak with a Southern accent. Where do you get that from? the environment. Where do you get, I'm going to give me a nigger and I'm going to kick his ass? You get that from the environment. It's not that people are good or bad. They're raised in an aberrated or twisted environment. Do you feel that we live in a world of damaged communications that sometimes restrict the language and expression of emotions as well as thinking? Is that correct? Yes. Today, our language is hundreds of years old. That makes it extremely difficult to talk to one another. We talk at each other. That means sometimes persons say, have a nice weekend. Why don't they say, have a nice life? Why just a weekend? Because our language is so old, it's automatic and has no meaning. There has to be a language that's not subject to interpretation. When you read the Bible, you say, Jesus meant this. He says, no, it meant that. In other words, he meant this. So you have the Lutheran, the Seventh-day Adventist, because it's subject to interpretation. A language is not subject to interpretation. Mathematics, engineering, chemistry, physics, structural engineering, not subject to interpretation. You couldn't build a bridge if one engineer says, I think he meant this, the other says, no, he meant that. So it's possible to develop a language not subject to interpretation. And how do you feel about the term democracy? Democracy is a con game. It's a word invented to placate people, to make them accept a given institution. All institutions sing, we are free. The minute you hear freedom and democracy, watch out. 